Sagittarius Rising's April 2024 shows a new romantic relationship arriving, and you're also going to be making some serious and important family-related decisions. So if you are excited to dive into what the astrology says about you for this upcoming April, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Erin. I make astrology videos and also music, which you can find down below, along with my astrology courses and my one-on-one -on -one readings. So we start out on the third with Venus conjunct Neptune in your Pisces fourth house of home and family. So Venus and Neptune together shows a lot of pleasure, enjoyment, otherworldly satisfaction and beauty. And for you, this is happening around family or home related events in the beginning of the month. So it could be a nice start to something with your family, or it could be that you are decorating your home and it's going really well. Then on the fifth, Venus enters Aries, which is your fifth house of dating, romance, and creativity. So this shows that for much of this month, there's going to be more ease and harmony in creative and dating romantic related things. And on the eighth, there is a total solar eclipse in Aries in your fifth house. This eclipse is a huge new beginning to a very individuated, independent, very self-assured chapter. And for you, this is about a romantic relationship starting or a creative project starting. And this is likely the most important new beginning of the entire year and a really, really large event. Then from the 9th to the 11th, Mars will conjoin Saturn in your Pisces fourth house. Mars and Saturn together is objectively challenging and often feels like you are running up against a brick wall or having issues with boundaries and fulfilling them. And this being in your house of family shows that you could be running into family related conflict and issues. And from the 11th to the 12th, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in Pisces, which shows clarity, insight, or a realization of information about whatever family hardship dynamic you're undergoing right now. From the 15th onward in the second half of the month, Jupiter will be conjunct Uranus in your Taurus sixth house. So Jupiter expands and Uranus is about chaos or innovation and new shit kind of, you know, breaking onto the scene. These two things are happening in your sixth house of physical health or coworkers. So either you are unlocking something really important about your physical health and wellness, or something really positive is suddenly changing and arriving with people that you work with. Then on the 19th, Mercury will conjoin Venus in your Aries fifth house. Mercury and Venus together shows really good news. And for you, this is about dating or your creativity. On the 19th, the sun will also enter your Taurus sixth house, showing that for the rest of the month, there is more focus on your physical health and people that you work with is something that you're going to be thinking and working towards. From the 21st to the 23rd, the sun will square Pluto in your third house of day-to-day -day routine, content, writing, or tasks. And this shows that you might feel as if your day-to-day -day requirements of what you're writing, building, or like monotonously doing is leading you to have to change either your health or the people that you work with and the dynamic that's based on that. On the 23rd, there is then a full moon in your Scorpio 12th house. This is a letting go or an ending for you about mental health or bad habits. So you could be releasing an addiction or just getting rid of something as it is not in your best interest, a bad habit kind of a thing. On the 28th to the 30th, Mars will conjoin Neptune in your fourth house. Mars and Neptune together is spiritual warrior energy or being the bigger person. And the fourth house is the house of home and family. So there is a dynamic that you're working out, but being the bigger person or spiritual about with family and home. On the 29th, Venus will enter your Taurus sixth house. And the sixth house, like I said, is all about your physical health or coworkers and Venus moving there shows that as we lead into May, those things are going to be running smoothly for you. But on the 30th, Venus will score Pluto in your third house, which shows again that your day-to-day -day tasks of what you're required to do could be in the way of you enjoying that. And on the 30th, Mars enters your Aries fifth house. So as we enter May, there's a little bit more conflict, effort, and things to work out in your romantic or creative world. So if you have any thoughts about what is coming up for you this April, do make sure to leave me a comment down below with how you're feeling. The tarot card that we have here for Sagittarius Risings this April is the Knight of Swords. So swords are all about intellectual study or learning something new and being knowledgeable. Knight shows going after something and being the person who actually does it. So this shows that you're literally going after it being the person who takes action towards something that you are mentally passionate about and want to learn more about. Hope that this was helpful and hope that you have an awesome April ahead. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you are not already. I know about 50% of you guys are. It would be great to get that closer to 100%. Otherwise, I hope that you have an awesome April and I will see you in the next one. Holiday.